Einstein has his theory, I have my theory. Whoop, you just had him. No, 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 no. Oh, right, right there, he just oh, missed him. The theory of the bite. And by that, I mean, what happens when you get a bite, you set the hook and nothing's there? How many times do we do that? And I don't care how good a fisherman you are, it happens to all of us. And you go, man, I felt him bite. I wasn't stuck on a rock. And your partner is saying, oh yeah, you were, but you weren't, you got that bite. Tell you what those fish do. Sometimes they'll just bite, like on this morning dawn, they'll just bite that much of the, much of the worm and they'll hold on to it and they'll just pull it. And they don't take the whole thing. That's what my theory. Einstein has his theory, I have my theory. And I know that happens, I've seen that. Guys, I know my theory works. I've seen it in the bass tank at the Bass Pro Shop. These fish will come up, they'll bite the back part of the worm and they'll pull it. You think you got a bite, you set the hook, half your worm comes in or the whole worm comes off or it just comes off the hook. All you gotta do is just, if that's happening to you continuously in the morning, what I do is I just kind of drop my line just a little bit, maybe just jiggle it just a little bit, you know. Underwater, this thing looks really good in the tank, you know, at the Bass Pro Shop. We play around with that a lot there when we do our seminars. So you're gonna see what I mean when you watch this video, what happens. When that keeps happening to you, drop your line down a little bit more, shake it a little bit, give them a chance to suck that all the way in, and then set the hook. You'll catch more fish that way. Thanks for watching our videos. <laughs>